All right, let's go. Oh my gosh, I might turn the music down though. It's a little bit loud for me. I'm just gonna turn it down. Oh, hello, hello. I will move over to the screen where it's me, but I'm also turning the music down because I it I find it so confusing when I'm trying to talk and also there's music going. Uh, there. Let me know. Let me know if the levels are all right. All right. Yes. Hello. How's it going? Hi, Tara. <sighs> it should be, uh, I don't have a ton of stuff to, to ink this stream. I have, if it goes super short, I have like a commission here that I can, uh, start on, but I just kind of have a couple of sets. Um, I don't know. I don't have a ton for October, but I figured I could at least put the stuff in the shop that I have. I've got, I've actually got a couple of other D20s that I've already inked. They're off to the side already, but I have like a bunch of D20s and then a just a couple of sets of dice. Um, so I figured we could get those done. And just sit around and chat, honestly. Have a nice chill stream. Oh, everything sounding all right? Everything looking all right? I feel, I feel like my lighting is not the best. Wait, I can fix my lighting. I have a window. I have a window. Ooh, gosh, there's so much dust. There we go. Ah, natural lighting. That's so much better. I usually have that not there because I get I sit in here in the morning and the sun's over there and it's just blinding me. Okay, sweet. Excellent. I'm trying out like I I'm trying out like some new like kind of uh, uh like an overlay here. <laughs> Just to see how I feel about it. See if I like it. All right, let's see. What should we start with? I mean, we could probably start with these. These are. I think I'm just gonna do gold for these. Ah, cat! Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> there's a cat on top of my computer under my table, and she just stuck her claws into my knee and terrified me. What are you doing? Hi, do you want on my lap? Come here. My goodness. Come here. Come here. Come on over. Hello, come on up. Come on. There we go. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, there we go. Do you want to say hello to the people? <laughs> all right, all right. You can lay down on my lap. Oh. Here, I'll angle this down a little bit. Maybe you can see the cat. There we go. The important things. No, lay down. Let the people see you. Hello. Never mind. I guess, uh, guess she just wanted to come say hi for a minute. Um, all right. Gold. Gold for these. So what have people been up to? What have folks been up to? I, um, well, I guess, let's see. I have, like, a couple of things that I could talk about. One. Finally got monetized on YouTube since the last stream. So that was exciting. That was probably the most exciting thing. I did also get uh, a new toy. Actually, I got a couple of new toys. Let me move those over so um, for future videos. I know it's not exciting. I've already made more than I thought I was going to. <laughs> like, um, where's it? Let me go over there. I, I, I'll be honest, I had no idea what, um, move that over a little bit so I can talk. I had no idea what, like, the ad revenue stuff was going to be like. Um, I, I was literally going off of, you know, how much I made when I was on Twitch. I did not make very, <laughs> I made, like, 50 cents a month, maybe, when I was on Twitch. So I was just like, huh, maybe I'll make, like, five bucks a month or something. Since I'm, I literally just got monetized, so it's not like I uh, have a huge audience or anything, but I've already made five bucks, so that's exciting. What's going on here? Hmm. Kind of a weird, like, silvery... Oh, there's kind of a weird silvery thing here going on. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure what that kind of weird silvery is. It almost looks like maybe the, um, some of the polish got, like, kind of stuck somehow. 
Like there was like a rough spot and the polish got stuck to it. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think gold will work well for these. There's a lot of gold in there. Pretty pretty safe bet. I mean, gold's usually my go-to anyways. Um But yeah, I I have, may have um I may have splurged and got some some new equipment. Um I ha still have my my camcorder. I still got this thing that I use all the time. Hello. I've still got my camcorder. It's still going to be used probably for filming resin because it's already covered in resin. Oops. And I'm not, you know, worried about getting it more covered in resin. It is just it is just the re resin covered camera at this point. Um but um I think I've talked about this before. Um but I like just kind of sat down and I want to do this more too. I have a couple of, of I want to do this more. Um, but I, I kind of sat down and went, okay, what do I like about the YouTube videos that I watch? Like, what are things that I enjoy? Um, and one of the things with like art YouTube videos especially is seeing people's live reactions to what they're making. And I was like, well, I kind of need, I think I kind of want a, a second camera <laughs> so that I can actually film me and my whole workspace as well as what I'm working on, like close up. So I may have gotten a, uh... oh, okay. I hope your history homework goes well, but thanks for stopping by. Mmm, tortellini, now that's, I, now I want pasta. <laughs> Uh, but yes, I may I may have gotten uh, a camera, a uh, slightly nicer camera. I don't think I'm going to film much in 4K, but it can film in 4K. Um, partially just because I'm not filming in 4K on my camcorder here. Uh, part of the reason I got the camera that I did, I, there was a couple reasons that I got the camera that I did. Oh yeah, I was talking about this, uh, I think in the last stream. I was talking about the camera that I had ordered, but it finally, it came in yesterday, so. Um, and I'm so excited for it. I don't think I'm gonna mess with the settings on it too much. I was looking through them and I was watching some videos on that earlier. Um, and I think for what I wanna do, I'm just gonna leave the settings as is, but if I wanted to get like more, do some like cinematic type stuff, I could definitely mess with some of the, the settings in there and do some like cool film things if I really wanted to. Maybe, maybe someday I will find the time and, oh wait, I have, I do have a video actually. I've had an idea for a video for a long time now that I was like, well, if I do this video, I think I want to do some sort of like sketch at the beginning and possibly the end of the video. So it could work well for that. It could work well for that. Um, but I may have also sp spent some money and got in a, uh, a thing for like a wireless lav mic that I can then attach to that camera. Part of the reason I got that camera and not another camcorder was because I wanted to be able to attach uh, an external microphone. Um, in this case, it's a, a, a like a connector for a lav, but um, just in general, be able to uh, attach an external microphone. So hopefully that will make the uh, audio quality nice for that stuff too. Meep, hello. How's it going? I'm just talking about uh, equipment that I purchased because I have no impulse control. No, let's be real, let's be real here. I got the stuff that I did, even though it was a, it was a, you know a little bit more expensive because it's stuff that uh, I can I can use for a while. If I got something like cheap, super cheap, which may have been my my first plan, is to get some things that were super cheap. Uh, I don't think it would have you know served me. It, I don't think it would have worked as well for me as long as I'm hoping the stuff that I got does, but there we go. Oh, hey, let me, let me, let me focus this a little bit closer. There we go. What did you miss? Uh, I literally just inked these. This is all I've inked so far. I've just been chatting about um, how I finally got monetized on YouTube within like this past week and that I ordered, I got, just got a cam new camera because I have some plans. Some plans for some uh, videos I want to do. Um, I don't know if I want to do this in 
gold or in white? I'm thinking maybe like a, a flat white for these. What do you think? Should I do gold? Should I do a flat white? I worry that the gold's gonna blend in. I think the white might stand out more. We could try a couple things on the D6 and see which one we like best. That's always an option. Silver? Mm. That's an option. Let's try the flat white just because it's like my, it's my, my, you know, first instinct. Uh, and if it looks terrible, we can change it. Just like I'm manually fixing focus. Maybe I could use my new camera for <laughs> streams. Uh, here's my light. Mm -hmm, yep, I saw your silver or bronze. We're gonna try white though, because it was just kind of my first, uh, my first instinct. There's a bajillion different ways we could do these. Like, there's not, there's like a ton of right answers here. But white, I think, is the most. Like, it's my first thought, so it's probably gonna be the most me, but. Like I said, we'll try it, and if we hate it, we can do something else. I'm trying to get this so that... Where were you the night of the 14th? I have kind of a weird setup here where I have literally just a desk lamp here. <laughs> but it's kind of blocked by my microphone a bit. So I'm trying to get it so that you guys can... There we go. I, th I do think that the white stands out nice. Yeah, I think the white's gonna stand out nice. Yeah. It's not too bold, is it? Does it, does it stand out too much? Mm, I think I like it. I'm gonna try one side gold. I just wanna see, because that was my other first thought. We could try silver too. Let me try a gold. I did get a new big bottle of gold because I'm running a little low here. <laughs> my my go-to is gold. Like, I, I more often than not, I, uh, I default to gold. Ooh, the gold's nice too, actually. I was worried that it wouldn't stand out, but it's not bad. I guess my two defaults are gold. My two defaults are gold and white. Oh, uh, the white stands out, but I feel like the gold's like feels kind of classier. All right, let me try silver. I'll try silver on one side. Uh, silver. Yep. Let's try silver. My, the reason I didn't like think silver is because there's no like silver in this. I usually tend to like default to mm, like a pearl, pearls, yeah. Oh, silver's not bad actually. I always use, uh, I always tend to think about like the colors that are in the dye and like try to pick one of those. And then I end up, you know, not contrasting. Am I using a what paintbrush? Oh, let me go to the, yeah, I'm just using a paintbrush. Uh, you know, I think it's too cool toned. I think I want to bring out, because there's all the warm tones in the dye. Huh. That could be a, a my end thing. I don't know. I do have it set so that the, the video should have, um, like, less latency. And I think that does make it slightly lower quality. I don't know if it should be that low quality. <laughs> Yeah, I think it should be okay. Yeah, I think the silver the silver was a good idea, but I think it's too I don't like the cool tone, I think. I want to bring out the warm tones more. So okay, that's good enough. I think I think I wanna do oops, I think I do wanna do the gold or the white. So here, let me let me change the focus again. So we've got, we've got white or gold. What do you guys think? 
white or gold. I think the white stands out more, but the gold feels more classy. That's that's where I'm at. That's that's my current thought. I could try a shimmery white too. That would definitely wouldn't stand out as much. But I think I'd have the same problem as the silver. I think it would feel really cold. <laughs> the gold is the goblin in you talking again. I mean, fair, fair. Death the white. <laughs> uh oh. All right, someone needs to come break our 50-50 our tie. <laughs> White, you're semi-colorblind. <laughs> I do like that you put the, uh, the like, stipulation in there. I think I... All right, let's try shimmery white. Let's try shimmery white. End of day, end of the day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with what, what I want, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm torn. So, but let's try it. We'll try a, a, a pearl white. I'll just try it in the same spot that I had the silver, actually. Hmm. I do like it more than the silver, but I don't think I like it as much as the gold or the uh, or the flat white. I mean, we could go completely off the rails and do like a green or something too, but I, I don't feel like that stays in the kind of spirit of the dice. I think I think I'm gonna go gold, um, and my reasoning. Bruh, bruh, you don't gotta be rude. You don't gotta be rude. Besides, partially colorblind doesn't mean that you can't see any color. Um, I think I wanna go gold. Um, the reason is, um, let me zoom back out again. My thought is, um, I feel like these feel very vampire to me, this set of dice does. And I think the gold feels more vampire-ish than the white does. I wonder if black would show up. Black would show up. <laughs> oh, video is better on your on your Switch. Let me try black, and then, yeah, let me try the black. See how that feels. I'm worried that the black's not gonna, we're not gonna be able to see it. Oh, uh, no, the black is gonna blend in. Yeah, the black's gonna blend in, I can already tell. Yeah, black blends in. Nope, not black. Yeah, I think the white kind of takes over a little bit more because it, it, it's uh, it's definitely more contrasty. Um, other, wait, what, are, what colors are in this one? I have a red that shimmers gold. It's a different red though. Mm, I think this is a little bit too raspberry-ish. Yeah, the red's different. The red's different. I got that recently though. I have to find something to, to use that on at some point. Yeah, this is one of those colors where it's like, it's just close enough, but like it, it, it's different enough and also close enough that I feel like it would just look like I was trying to match, but I didn't and it would just feel kind of like unintentional that it doesn't match. So we're not gonna, well, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll save that for another project, but man, I do wanna use that at some point. Let's go, let's go gold. Mm, maybe you could do like a, a red uh, layer underneath. I've done that. I have a purple uh, color shift one and I uh, sometimes will put down a, like a layer of purple and then put the, then put the, uh, the color shift on top of it. But 
let's just go gold with this one. Apparently we're just doing everything gold today. I don't think I'm gonna do this set gold, so it's okay. We'll, we can, we can break our streak after this. I really don't know what color I wanna do that. Maybe like a white or like a really pale green. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like red and gold together for sure. Um, I don't know, I don't know if you just got here. I was showing this paint, but it's just not quite the same red. So I don't think it would work, but I do want to use it. Hello, hello, hello. I'm trying to talk myself out of the gold. No, I like the gold. I was trying to decide between the white and the gold because I like both of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the gold. I'm a very indecisive person. It's like there's, there's no, there's no wrong answer necessarily. Well, there's some answers that I like. There's some. There's no wrong answers uh, when it comes to inking dice, but there's definitely some uh, color combinations that I do not prefer. <laughs> uh, that's one of those things that I've talked about um, before with like sets of dice where I will, even if I make a set of dice and I do not like the set of dice that I've made, I don't usually tell people that because I figure someone else might like it. You know, it's all, it's all a matter of, of personal taste. It's all subjective. I've definitely made some sets of dice where I'm just like, oof, that, that is an ugly set of dice. Sometimes I've made a set of dice and I've been like, oof, that is an ugly set of dice. And then I've gotten to the point where I inked them. And once I got like the numbers filled in, I'm like, actually, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, but there's some sets too where I'm just like, I do not like those colors together at all. And then someone else is just like, oh, these are perfect. I love these colors. So I'm like, sweet. There's a reason I did not say that I didn't like them because I didn't want to turn you off to them. There we go. Yeah, I think I think the uh, I think the gold works. Let me let me zoom back in again. Yeah, I like the gold. It definitely doesn't stand out as much as the white, but I d I do think it feels classy. So I'm happy with that. So we'll keep we'll keep going with that. Let me I'm gonna zoom in. I want to move you guys a little bit closer. I think. I'm gonna move you guys closer. Just a second. Yeah, these are the ones from the dice challenge. I feel like it's not, this camera is not. Just a second, let me, let me focus this better. Um, I got it from Kramer Industries online. That's, I, that's like the only place that I've ever found it. Oh, ground walnut. Oh gosh. I think it's probably walnut shells, yeah. There we go, that's better. Uh, yeah. Good to know though. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know where you're located or anything, but yeah, the stuff that I got was from Kramer Industries. Um, and I think I just, t you can just type in like hardwood media, uh, Kramer Industries. Uh, and find it online. Uh, it's not cheap, I will say that. Not cheap. But you can use it for a while, so. It does, it does last for a while. There we go. Yeah, I think I like the gold. It doesn't blend in as I, blend in as much as I was worried it would. Oh, we've almost finished this song. I'm listening through the YouTube audio library, by the way. That's uh, that's what I've been doing uh, on streams because there's not like a way to make like playlists or something. I literally just go onto the. Where's this one? Ah, and Mozart Symphony. All right. Um, I literally just go on the YouTube audio library and play through it with all the stuff that doesn't require attribution. You don't have to like say, this person wrote this song. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I think at some point I might uh, pay for one of the like, you know, the like epidemic sound or whatever, the paid subscriptions for music to use in, in videos and things. Might do that at some point. 
maybe I, I honestly I told myself that I would do that once I started yep yep that would be the one like I said not cheap To be fair, five pounds is, is um, I think five pounds is about three tumblers worth. Um, I usually get it in about five. I think I've gotten the five pound uh, ones before. Oh, I don't remember. That's the, they're the cubes. I, what size are those? Let me. What's the difference in size? I don't remember. It's like five millimeters or so the cubes are. Or, yeah, probably about five millimeters. I don't remember what it's, uh, what the, the number, those, the one and two mean. I'd have to go look. They don't say the size. Uh, let me look. Let me see if I have it in, like, a thing. Um, let me go to my documents. I might have a, um, Receipt. Kramer Industries. Uh, NC1. Cubes NC1. That's what I got. Oh, you found it lower? Oh. Oh, okay. Yep, 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 yep. It's easy for me to look up. Yeah. Happy to. Yeah, I, my goodness, there's a lot of uh, expenses when it. <laughs> oh man, whenever it comes to like you know the the end of the year and I'm getting everything uh, put together for my taxes to do my taxes, and I'm compiling like my list of expenses. And I have like a spreadsheet going of all of the stuff that I bought for the year and how much shipping costs and everything and website costs. I'm like, no one look at my shame. No one can know, look at how much I have spent. I probably should do a, uh, a video at some point showing how much I made in a year versus my expenses. It's not like it really matters too much. I think I just end up taking like the standard deduction every year anyways, but. Honestly, I feel like it's good for just for my own personal bookkeeping too to, to have an idea of how much I'm spending. Um, but yeah, maybe I should do a video. I was thinking about doing it this last uh, this last uh, for this last year when I did taxes of um, how much I made from where and my expenses, like comparing it all that stuff. Cause I, I always, I'm always interested in seeing that stuff from like, uh, you know, artists being like, so like, where do they make their money from and what sort of expenses they have and that sort of thing. I always find that stuff interesting, but it's always a little bit weird to do, you know? I know. I know. Yeah, I think I like the gold. I was, I was worried it would blend in. Um, and it, I, I'm glad that it's not really blending in too much. I need more paint. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I'm happy. I'm happy we went with the gold. You should have avoided going to the con over the weekend. You spent some money at the con. <laughs> your your uh, dragon slash goblin brain is, is happy with the gold. Yeah, it does definitely blend in a little bit. Oh. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been dragging my, my brother to conventions that I've been, like, you know, vending at, just so I'm not by myself, um, and he's been doing Christmas shopping and stuff at, at his, at conventions. Oh my gosh, pri figuring out prices is the worst. 
I, I had a friend uh, text me the other night saying, hey, uh, how do you price your stuff? I had I have someone, uh, a friend asking about, you know, having me make something for them. And I'm like, oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, it's so much fun. Yeah, it's so much fun, Mist Walker. Like, um, it's, it's very rewarding. I... I love being able to make something and have it be done. Uh, that might sound odd, but like, it's so nice being able to like start from the beginning and get all the way to the end and have something that's finished. Um, and then also, well, you know, get better at it every time too. It's, I don't know, it's all like one big experiment and trying out new things is a lot of fun. Ooh, you got a beta test a game? That's cool. What game did you get a, a beta test? If you're allowed to say, if you're not under an NDA or whatever. Um, I was at a, I was at a thing this weekend. It was not a, a convention. It was kind of an outdoor arts fair thing uh, and quilt show. <laughs> Didn't make the most money, but it was very nice outside. So it kind of made up for it. Didn't make it, didn't make a ton, but it was, it was very nice out and I had a good time. Next, uh, let's see, next show I'm going to is, um, the Halloween Expo in Spokane, Washington. That's coming up. Um, it's the 14th and 15th, I think, of October. That should be, that should be fun. I do feel like I need to make some more Halloween, uh, sort of stuff. <laughs> Might be good. I need to, I have some kind of spooky Halloween dice, but I need to put price tags on them. Because a lot of those are, uh, a little bit more complex and so I don't actually have prices on them um and I can show you, I can show you how I have my dice laid out um you got some of you have seen this you want it's perfect I just ran out of, of paint on the top there so I will have to grab more out of that bottle anyways um I think some of you have seen combat board game that you use energy for action it's pretty easy to understand oh Puyallup okay I've got my, my briefcase of dice. Uh, let me set this off to the side. So this has got, it's got trays in it. Um, it's got trays in it. Um, but all of these ones over here in the bottles, whoops, these are falling down. The trays, I just put like a price tag, you know, sets of dice here are this much, sets of dice here are this much. But all of these are kind of like individually priced because um, they took more work in some way. I know, isn't this case cool? It's such a cool case. It's like a briefcase and it's got, uh, here, let me go back to auto focus um, and then I can go up a little bit. But yeah, it's got, it's got like three trays. I don't have much in that bottom one. I've got a few sets that didn't fit in this tray. Um, but it's got three trays and this is, has a spot for like a roller. It's literally built for like dice, but I've, it, it, and it works great for, for this, but, um, but yeah, all of these ones in bottles, <laughs> it's a lot of dice. People gotta buy them and then, uh, then I won't have as many. <laughs> but yeah, I've got, got I do have a lot of sets of dice here but the, yeah these are all ones that um I need to individually price because I've got like I've got some Halloween sort of ones here like these ones are my little uh, oh uh, let me go back to manually focusing never likes to focus where I want it to I've got my little um little jack-o-lantern ones that I made a long while ago and part of the reason the eyes look so funky is because they glow in the dark. Um, and I've got these ones with bats. These ones have bats in them. It's kind of hard to see, maybe. But they're they're black on one half, and then they've got like uh, bats flying over a moon type thing. So yeah, I've got some kind of Halloweenish ones. These ones these are pirate dice technically, but they've got little skulls in them. Skulls and bones. So yeah, I need to get those. I need to get those actually priced. 
Um, Alright, this can go away now. But yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool, uh, it's a cool, uh, cool tray here. Oh, hello, you can see my reflection. And then it just has these on both sides. You can lock it too, it comes with a key. Uh, and you have got like a briefcase of, of dice. I'm always so worried that I don't have the thing latched before I pick it up. Can you imagine the mess that would make? Uh, your mold gave you an alternate d4. Wait, randomized d20? Oh, so you got like a, you got like a, a mold and it, it came with like an extra, extra d4 that's a different shape and an extra d20 in it? Is that what you're saying? Oh. oh no! That's not what I need. I don't need an epic roll. Okay, let me. Okay. Back to inking. I think, I think, uh, if I were to drop all of those, I would be rolling, uh, to figure out the amount of emotional damage I was taking from, uh, having to clean them all up later. <laughs> oh gosh, filling in a ditch for like three hours. That sounds like a, a lot of work. I'm just trying to make sure that I, I understood what you're saying too. I always do that with like commissions and stuff. That's something I try to do is, uh, you know, if people send me information, they're like, hey, these are the things I want. I always try to like rephrase it and then uh, say, like, say it back to them to be like, okay, I just wanna make sure I got everything right. This, this is what you want, right? Just so I can make sure that we're on the same page and I'm not misunderstanding something. All right, so we're, we're working on these. I've got some, a few more dice in this set to ink, but while we're doing that, we should start thinking of what color we're gonna wanna ink this set. So these have got like purples and greens. It's a Petri that actually turned out at some point. I, 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 I have so many dice that are unsanded. This is one of those sets where it's just been sitting in my in my thing of unsanded dice for a while. And I was like, eh, that feels kind of, maybe like a light blue. It goes in between the, kind of like a, yeah, I think blue might work. It goes in between the green and the purple. Although am I going kind of like swamp thing with it? I'm going, am I going, I like, do I want to go more kind of swamp thing? Oh, there's a lot of blue in that sparkle, isn't there? Hmm, I wonder if I have, I wonder if I have, I could do like one of the color shift ones in that. I'll have to see what color shifts I have. That could be cool. Yeah, maybe a color shift. Oh gosh. I gotta, I gotta keep track of where my hands are so you guys can actually see what I'm working on. Hey, how do you guys like the... Uh, Weird red or purple. I might have a color shift purple is what I'm thinking. I might have a color shift purple I could do. So I got like this one that's purple and then it shifts blue. What about that one, guys? That's <laughs> one thing. Hello! I got so confused for a second because, uh, at least for me, uh, both Cobra and Ethan show up as green circles with just a letter, and one of them is an E and one of them is an F, and I was looking at the, uh, at your, your, like, profile pictures, and they looked, like, exactly the same to me. I was like, wait, what? Why are you saying hiya? You've been here. No, no. Bye. 
but yes, like creature coming out of the swamp. Do I want to go more that direction? Because these are like the, 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 these are the dice I'm going to put in my shop like in October. So I'm like, do I want to go kind of more Halloween theme? Even though I only have like two sets and a bunch of D20s. as a profile you'll you'll one of these days you'll have a profile pick or or you're putting something else up somewhere like a poster on the wall <laughs> this is a call out post for both of you i guess not really not really you don't have to change anything but yeah call out you don't have profile pictures <laughs> I, I think, so, this is obviously, obviously this is my YouTube account, right? Um, this is the YouTube account I post to. I have a YouTube account that I use to watch things. I don't really watch things on this account. I always switch to, like, a personal account for that. Uh, and I'll be real, the picture on the personal account is just a random picture that I, like, had. <laughs> the walls are bare in your room and in your YouTube profile. Oh, that was something I was thinking about. Sorry, this is this is the the walls being bare made me think of it. I uh you can't see it much at the moment just cuz the it's so dark, I suppose. Um like in in my screen, look up here, look up here. See my face? If I go back, it's very dark. I honestly I I manually changed it because I have the light here uh and I was washed out, but um it's so dark behind me. I want to I think uh, I have shelves back there and they are a mess at the moment. I think I want to organize them and make them look nicer and also make them more functional. Um, I was trying, I was debating, I was like, would it be like, kind of fun if we just did a stream where I organize all the shelves and we just hang out? Because I feel like part of the fun of streams is just like hanging out, right? Some of it's about whatever's being worked on, but it's more about the hangout, right? Like, oh, maybe we could do a stream of that at some point, just, like, hanging out and cleaning my office. Uh, I need- it, it- it'd make me actually, uh, actually do it, right? <laughs> Can't call you- uh, darn it! I so wanted to. Now, now I can only call, uh, Cobra out. But yeah, I literally just have like a random picture for my, uh, for my YouTube account that I used to watch everything. Um, let's see. So, I'm just, I'm just thinking through things now. I have a video that's all done, and I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i have that posted on Thursday. It's already posted to Patreon and, and for members. Um, I do need to get editing on another video. I think... I think, honestly, the next one I might be editing is uh, this set of commission dice. Which, sneak peek at a set of commission dice, I suppose. Um, but... There's more to that than just that, but uh, might be those just because I usually try to get the commission videos done around the same time that I ship things out. I think that video might be a little bit more complicated than a lot of the other like commission videos I do. Because I've, for the commissions in the past, I've just done videos where it's, um, there's no talking, it's just set to music. That one I might have some talking because there's kind of a, a long sorted tail that that goes with that set of dice. Um, that set of dice has probably taken me the longest. Uh, it's probably taken me the longest out of any set of dice ever to make. Oh, nice! Did I hear a cat? I thought I heard a cat. Maybe not. 
I do have a cat sleeping off to my right though. Do you guys want to see the cat sleeping off to my right? She's been there the whole time. She's just in her box. Just a second, let me paint the six. I'll show you, show you the kitty cat. Okay, go, let me go back to uh, autofocus. I think that'll be easier, but then I will show you. There she is. She's just been sleeping there the whole time. Oops. A comfy, happy girl in her box. She likes boxes a lot. Back to menu focusing. <laughs> In her box bed too. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. She just. She just loves boxes. She also likes uh, paper bags. That's been her other place that she's liked sleeping recently. Is just on a paper bag that's on the floor. I have so many cardboard boxes and random bags around my house. Stole your chair at first and you moved her to the box bed. She was offended. Yeah, that sounds about right. You move me yet? I was telling my brother yesterday that whenever I give a voice to one of the cats, you know, like I, I talk like I'm one of the cats, I either talk like I am a poor Victorian child um, or like I'm like some sort of goblin, like, like Smeagol, like, I once is it. I just always think of that one, I, I don't know who here has, has seen the comic, but it's, um, of a cat that's just like, I wish to enter the deliciousness chamber and the human is just like, that is an oven and you will die. I am strong father. My brother and I quote that to each other all the time with, I am strong father, whenever the cats try to do something that uh, we're just like, no, that's so stupid of you to do. Why are you doing that, cat? I am strong father. I'll have to see if I can find it now. Let me see if I can find the, uh, the comic to show you guys. Okay. Let me see if I can find the, the comic with the, uh, deliciousness chamber. I think that's what it's called. Find it here. Uh, here, let's see here. Uh, here we go. I am strong. You're hungry for bacon. Here's the, here's the, here's the comic. My, but yes, my, my, my brother and I uh, quote that to each other all the time. Bit of a chonky boy trying to sit in a tiny box. Another cat love just blew up the sides of the box. <laughs> I shamed you guys into, uh, into, uh, having a, a, Profile pictures. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but yes, my, my brother and I uh, quote that comic to each other 
all the time. <laughs> oh, they never are, aren't they? <laughs> cat hair, cat hair, always cat hair. I can never escape the cat hair. Oh, I like that though. I don't know. I find it really cute when when cats show affection through head budding. Especially for uh, like uh, Fitz and I will will just headbutt each other. If we're sitting somewhere and we're at head height. We'll just like headbutt each other. I'm like, yeah, we're bonding. Oh, one of your pet snakes? What kind of snakes do you have? My, uh... <laughs> we did it to the dining room table and shake the whole table. One of my cats is very chonky. Um, I call her my little sausage because she is just like... If she lays down, she's like a sausage link. She doesn't like go flat like Luna who's in the box and who's now giving herself a bath does um she's just like two ball pythons one named Toast and one named Tafiti aww Tafiti uh, my it, when I was in school my third grade classroom had a pet corn snake so my third grade classroom had all sorts of animals actually we had a, a corn snake I don't remember the corn snake's name. Um, we also had a, a ferret. There was a, a class classroom pet ferret. I believe whose name was Phoebe. I think it was Phoebe the ferret. So I have I have. Then they were both very very nice animals. So I I I don't know. I have fond fond thoughts about both uh, snakes and and ferrets. <laughs> just from just from my third grade classroom. Excellent. Last one is the coin. Oh, sorry to hear that. Uh, shared a picture of the cat and the cat whose box he broke. Alright. I'm assuming in the Discord. I will go look. I want to see. I want to see the chunky cat and the, the cat who's sad about his box. I'm sure that's not in the picture, but I, I want to see the cats. Yeah, I have... For people who are new here, I have four cats. Um, it was an accident. I didn't mean to have four cats. It's not my fault. Didn't mean to. I only I only decided to have two of them, to be completely honest. No, I have a Discord. I think it's in the description. You can join. It's open to everybody. There we go. All right, sweet. Woo! Yeah, I th I'm glad. I'm glad we went with the gold. I like the gold. I'm happy with that. All right, let's see here. So for these, should I try the like purple that I kind of like? I think this purple matches really well, actually. Those purple seem to go together really well. Oh, right, I was gonna look at pictures of cats. Just a second. <laughs> gold, pick gold. Oh. Uh, animals. Oh, chunky boy and friend. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think that I like. I'm gonna try the purple. I I like this purple color, and I think it matches really well. I do think the red would be weird. I do think the red. I mean. Depends on what I'm going for, but I think the purple. Oh, those purple gonna blend in. No, I don't think so. Let's try the purple. What? What are you doing? Why you stop? What happened? I'm just gonna move to the next, uh... Whoa! 
Should I stick with classical? I feel like I was vibing with the classical music. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to class, back to classical music. It just it's I'm I'm vibing with it. Hmm. What? A lot of like. This one feels very, uh, like we're in a tavern. <laughs> Alright, let's try the purple. We'll try purple on the D6 again and see if we like it. Yeah, and it like shimmers blue. Yeah. You could make dice based on them, though. That'd be sweet. Uh, I might want to put, I think, you know how we were talking before about how the, the red doesn't stand out very well? I think I want to put down a layer of purple first and then put down this paint. Because I think that it's not going to, I think it's it'll make it stand out more. I have a purple that matches this but is not, uh, the, um, the, the, the color shift. So let's start with that. We'll do a layer of that and then we'll go back and do a layer of the, the shimmery blue purple. Such a pretty, pretty color. Oh, I was talking about it earlier and I didn't actually, uh, I think finish my thought, but. Oh, I want to see, I want to see. Oh, friends. Oh, kitten. Little kitten, little baby kitten. Mm. Oh, Toast is in the first one. And defeat is. Cool. All sorts of friends. Um, okay, let me grab the purple. Oh, I've got it here. Yep, here it is. Yeah, I've got this purple. It's it's pretty much the like same color, but not, uh, not not a color shift. So we'll start with a layer of this, and then we'll do the uh, the color shift over the top. And I think that'll make it stand out a little bit more. Honestly, I kind of I kind of like it without the color shift even, but I, is it too hard to read? Does it stand out enough? Does it stand out, out enough or is it too hard to read? Now I'm kind of uh, rethinking. I was trying to avoid having to mix paint colors, but I'll be honest, my first thought on these was like a, a like a pastel. Like a pastel green or something. Or blue. Although I don't know if that fits the, the vibe of something coming out of the lake. But I worry that that is hard to read. Mmm. Oh my god. Eh. This isn't even one of the color shifts. This is literally just this purple paint. I was gonna do a layer of this purple first and then the color shift. Um, but this is this is about the same color. <laughs> did you, did, I'm wondering whether you, you gave the idea of turquoise or a color shift blue before or after I uh, pulled this out because there's so much delay. Oh, you're good, you're good, yeah. But but now I'm amused because I literally just pulled out this like turquoise color shift blue. <laughs> but there's so much stream delay. I wonder if we had the same thought at the same time. Uh, oh, I also got this emerald green. I don't think this would work. Now, nah, this isn't right for this, but I also got this emerald green recently. I'll have to try it at some point. 
but let's try that. Let me take the purple off of the one here. Well, no, see, there's so much stream delay. Um, by the time I saw your message, I already had it out here. Um, yeah, by the time that your message got to me, I already had it out. But you hadn't hadn't seen it yet. So we had the idea at like the same time. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. It's always so satisfying pulling that off. Let's try this like blue green. I feel like that matches. I think it's too bright. Like it's too too bold. Cause I feel like these colors are a little bit more muted, right? Cause I've got the white in there. I don't know. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> it's me knocking the dice everywhere over here. Pay no mind. Pay no mind. Hmm. So we've tried that, we've tried these. I'm not gonna go gold with this one. What have I got? I got a new copper. Copper might be interesting. Pink. Uh, silver, rusty, bronze, something a little more spooky and diluted. Yeah, I think I want something a little bit more muted. So maybe, maybe copper? Let's try the copper. This is also a new one. I think brass might be, like a brass color might be a little bit too dark. Let's just, yeah, let's just try copper. Let's just try copper. Hmm, hopefully this is not too sparkly. This looks like a very sparkly uh, copper. I hope it's not. Ooh. I like how, like... Hmm. What do I think of the copper? I think it is easier to read. I think it's definitely easier to read. And it's not as, um, let me put it on this place and see how it looks. But I don't know if it vibes or not. Does it vibe? You know, I think it kind of works because we've got like the purple and the green, which are both secondary colors. And then the copper is kind of like an orange, which is also secondary color. So we've got kind of like a triadic, triadic color scheme going on. Where we've got things that are like three colors that are equally spaced around the color wheel. But I don't know. What do you what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the copper? I think I like it. I think I like it. Alright, let's clean out the uh, other two sides here that have the, the purple and the teal in them. Yeah, the purple and the teal are like... They, they don't stick out enough or they're too bright in color. The blue's too too uh, too saturated, and the purple doesn't stick out enough. So we'll go with the copper. I like this new copper too. It's really pretty. It's just like it's so like vibrant and shiny. I like it. It's sparkly. Not the not the color I was I was thinking going into this, but I I can I can dig it. I can dig it. Gotta clean this out now. 
I I usually test. Uh, you know, if I'm not sure, I will test on the D6 like this because it is the easiest to clean out. It's got so it's got like the biggest numbers on it. D12s. Yeah, it's got the biggest numbers on it, so it's the easiest for me to get the pain out of afterwards. Cool. Alright, we'll do copper. We're just, uh, we're on a metallic streak today, it seems like. We're going for the metallics. We're feeling it. We might do some other colors for the, the D20s I have here, though. Yeah, I like this copper. Okay, cool. It has grown on me immensely. So this is another one of those ones like the gold rose, just like I like it, but is it gonna be my favorite option? But yeah, I think I, I think I like the copper. Um, I literally just well, it depends on on how much time things take. I have uh, four D20s after this set. Um, I do also have some dice here for a commission that I could work on, um, but I might do that off stream just because I'm going to be filming it too and it can get a little bit annoying to try and, and film things at the same time as streaming because I have to think about two different camera angles that I'm trying to get things in. I'm bad at even getting one camera angle. Um, yeah, I like the copper. Cause I got to fix my hair. Push it back a little bit. Um, but yeah, I have, I have these and then I have these four G20s. This one's a liquid core. This one's got both flakes and uh, mica in it. Kind of an interesting one. Um, but yeah, I've got these these four. I have two D20s that I've already inked as well, if you want to see them. Let me grab them. Let me grab them. Oh, I'm gonna need these. I'm gonna need these too. Yeah, I've already done, um, I've already done these two D20s. Um, I believe this one is glow in the dark, if I remember correctly. The yellow, at least, is. Uh, not the, not the, the 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 numbers, but the 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 yellow orangish color in there. And then this one is a, a a petri, which I'm normally terrible at, but this one turned out all right. So those two are already done. Um, I did also go and grab uh, a random D6 that I have because I like to send. I usually. If people order a set of dice, um, I'll throw in like a bonus D6, uh, just, you know, a random one. Um, so I try to polish some of them up and get them ready to go. And then uh, I have these two D4s that match, so I'm going to turn those into earrings, but I want to fill in the, the numbers. These, this one could probably also be gold, but I don't know on those. So we could do those. Um, but yeah, set of dice, four d20s at least. Um, but, and then we'll see how much time we have, because, I don't know, it's been an hour. Usually I try to stream for around two to three hours, but depends on how I'm feeling too. I feel like I usually hit a wall at some point where I'm just like, uh, what, what do I talk about now? How do brain words, how do words brain? So we'll see if I hit that wall at some point. Oh, I should scoot this over. I feel like maybe I should scoot over this way. There we go. I'm just very not. There we go. I'm not centered at all, but it's fine. As long as you guys can hear me, that's the important thing. Ah! Oh no. Okay. I think I have enough. Crunch. <laughs> I'm gonna put a warning on there of uh, eat at your own uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for own risk <laughs> eat at your own risk 
Would not advise. Too crunchy. I mean, I like I like crunchy snacks, but it's a little bit too crunchy. Yeah, I do feel like it blends in a little bit more there, where I have the really thin lines. It's a little bit harder to see, but it's okay. It's always kind of funny to me when I'm like planning a set of dice or I'm pouring a set of dice and people ask me, oh, what are you going to ink? What, do you, what color are you going to ink them? Because I go into it like no thoughts, head empty, like, oh yeah, I'm going to have to fill in the numbers at some point. Like I never think about, I rarely, sometimes I do. Sometimes I'm like, I have this idea, I'm basing it on this, I want to incorporate this color in the numbers. But more often than not, uh, I make this set of dice and then I'm just like, well, we'll polish those up and then see what we want to do. Peter bu peanut butter pumpkins. Oh gosh, what's everybody's favorite Halloween candy? Now, now I have to think about it. Mine might be like Reese's peanut butter cups, but, uh, I do also like a Kit Kat. I like Kit Kats. Probably because they're crunchy. But yeah, my favorite might be Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I also like peanut butter and chocolate. Do you need a dice maker that makes wine gum dice? Oh! Um, I've talked to my- my brother and I have talked to him about making, um, hard candy dice. They wouldn't be to sell, cause, uh, food. There's so many rules about selling food but just to make uh, I think it'd be really fun I've pretty much told him hey if you get me some food safe silicone I will make molds and we can make uh, we can make hard candy or chocolate dice I think that'd be really cool maybe that could be a video at some point but uh, yeah that seems that seems really fun edible dice Oh, I need to do silicone dice at some point too. I literally, I even got silicone for it. Dude, I have so many, I, guys, I have so many projects. So many projects of things. And I'm like, I should do that at some point. And then I, I just haven't found the time. During World War II, the Depression, one of the two. Uh, only chocolate Hershey's was making was Reese's because it took the least amount of sugar. Oh. Interesting. I guess that kind of makes sense. I could do soap dice. I have all the stuff for making soap. That'd probably be easier with uh, melt and pour. I do want to. I do need to make some soap at some point. Um, I'm gonna make some wizard spell book uh, bars of soap at some point. I have all of the scents and everything. I just need to clear out off my workspace. Maybe that. I don't know. Should I do a video of that or or stream of that? I have found that when I do streams of soap making they're usually very short usually i measure out like the oils and everything beforehand just because it's kind of uh it's kind of a process whole documentary on youtube about the history of rhesus oh <laughs> your, your favorite is also rhesus <laughs> they're just good Now you want to raise this peanut butter cup. And bacon. Maybe not together. Yeah, I think feel like that'd be easy enough to do. I do think that melt and pour soap might work the best for that. I will... Uh, maybe. Um, so the thing... So... I did soap making before I did resin. Um, don't really do Halloween over there. It is it is just such a fun holiday. I don't know. I, I like Halloween. It's just really fun. It's like, yeah, everyone's gonna dress up in costumes for fun. And we're gonna give kids candy because it's nice. 
Ugh, potato chips in them? Yeah, like I understand, like I do like salty and sweet, but that, I feel like that's part of like the allure of just the peanut is because it gives a little bit of a uh, reprieve from all the sweet, right? I don't know. Like I like, I like like chocolate covered pretzels, but the, but potato chips with the peanut butter and the chocolate seems a bit much. But yeah, it is, it is such, it is a fun holiday. There we go, there's our D20. It's so dangerous going into craft stores around Halloween though. There's so much fun Halloween stuff that I want. True, the only time of year where they can't, uh, where people can't criticize clothing choices. It makes my, my inner goth very happy. Oh, they're soft. Ugh. If they were crunchy, I could maybe see it. Like, like I like some crunch. But soft, eh, no thank you. I, I understand salty sweet. I, I, like, and I understand wanting crunch, but, uh. Oh, I'm going to the next page here. Always update your wardrobe during Halloween. It's where they have all the fun stuff. I have um, skull, skull-shaped salt and pepper shakers that I got around Halloween that are just my salt and pepper shakers because they're fun. <laughs> But yeah, you can get like the cute kind of macabre stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, you know what I do like? Um, I don't know if they're like my favorite but I do really like them and I think it is partially because of the crunch is the um the pretzel M&Ms I do like those everyone else I know does not like them <laughs> I feel like or they're at least they're they're neutral towards them but they're you know they don't hate them but they're, they're like eh, not really my thing I do like the pretzel M&Ms I think just because they add some crunch in there Really want to find a LARP in Washington at some point for the fun of it. Um, do I know of any? I mean, I, I don't know. Cause like the, the Ren Fair moved to Portland, right? It used to be the, the Ren Fair. Crackle bars. Birthday cookie ones are good too. Have I had those? Is it like birthday cake or something? I'm not a huge like birthday cake flavored fan. I don't know why it's like too sweet for me, I think. But I could see, I could see in liking the crunch. I like crunchy things. Um, I could ask around though. I might, I might have some friends that know of uh, LARPing opportunities in Washington. You said near, you were saying near Puyallup, right? There's Puyallup. Uh, I have to think, I have to think about what that is. <laughs> Luckily, the dragon slash goblin is on the other side of the screen and therefore cannot eat me. Check and mate. It's too late. It's too late, I'm sorry. It's too late. Oh, see, so yeah, right, 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 right. Oh, right, Pialp's over on the east side. Or uh, the west side, I mean. Sorry, I'm on the east side. But I, I do have friends in Seattle, so. I went to UW for a couple of years. Mm. 
-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I might have some friends that I could uh, ask around in the Seattle area that might know. It's kind of funny. I like I'm not I, I enjoy playing like D and D and stuff, but I've never been the one that's like huge into it. My my brother has been obsessed with D and D for years, um, since we were kids, because I, I grew up playing D and D. My dad would uh run games for the family. It which was a lot of fun. But I don't know, I, I enjoyed the social aspect of it more than like just the, the game itself. Like I enjoy having an excuse to meet up with people for dinner and have a, like a project to work on together kind of thing. Gives you something to, to focus on. Oh, Federal Way, okay. Yeah, all right. I think I have a friend that lives in Federal Way actually. Oh, uh, yeah. That does kind of put a damper on things. It's no fun having those sorts of limitations. <laughs> you want your teammate with a t catapult? I do. So, you know, different... I, I think... I think one of the best things about D&D &D is that there's no wrong way to play it as long as you know everyone's having fun um you know some people love playing it for the the combat and like the just like the min maxing aspect of it and the the actual like game uh of it you know some people like it for the storytelling and the and the um like the role play some people like it for like the explore explorations people like it for the puzzles um I, I tend to be more of the person that likes it for, um, I, I, I'd rather, I, I like it more for like the puzzle aspect of it, I suppose. I, I enjoy having like a little bit of combat and a little bit of exploration. Um, I'd much rather come up with some sort of unique solution to get out of something or talk my way out of something, use my skills that aren't just combat based, but, um, one of my favorite things in D&D is when someone uses... A something like an item that they have or a skill that they have in like creative and interesting ways oh gosh <laughs> oh. you like the dungeon crawls because it's like a puzzle yeah well yeah uh, it's just it's it's a medium for playing any number of games um I, that's part of the reason i've always said that that um i view uh D, D and minecraft as being very similar games they're both just kind of sandboxes to play however you want, as long as everybody's having a good time. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I need to be warmed up to the roleplay stuff. Like, on the one hand, I like talk, you know, I like, I like um, talking my way out of situations or having a little bit of my character does this, but like the actual like talking in character thing, I'm like, oh gosh, I don't know what my character would say. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I I will say I also just like seeing the um the like worlds that my brother builds. Uh he's built some really cool settings. I I always talk about the um I always talk about the mansion that he built. Um that was that was cool. It was one of those games where I'm like, the the setting was really cool, but it it, it got a little bit stale just because we didn't know what we were doing. Um. <laughs> uh, oh, 
Oh gosh, my I've I've talked I've I've talked about this before, but I I I'll tell you about one of my favorite favorite things that I've I've ever done in D and D, and it was that campaign where it was a, a giant mansion that my brother had built. There were some really good interactions in there. Um, I'll I'll, I'll lead up to it, I suppose. Uh, the the mansion that he built was const it was he had a whole backstory for it basically there was an island and every 10 years the island would open up for a short period of time uh and it would be there to kind of attract adventurers um and there would be some sort of new structure for them to explore that had been created by a lich a dragon and a devil i think i think it was a lich a dravel a dragon and a devil working together they create they they would create a new um area for for um adventurers to come explore every 10 years just for for their own amusement you know it's one of those things where it's like there's great treasure available but also great danger um lean back in thanks scarecrows and something that let them rest character Getting back into Terraria as soon as there's new. That is, I've never played Terraria, but um, that is one of my brother's go-to games. Like every once in a while, he just he just goes back to it. I, I'm I've never been a big game gamer. Um, but uh, anyways, what was I saying? Oh yes, yeah, so the mansion that was created by you know these three evil evil creatures for their own amusement to watch adventurers try and and you know, get the, the, the goods and the glory, um, or, but, you know, probably die horrible deaths. Really cool setting. He had some really cool, like, uh, things built into it. There was definitely some, like, fridge horror aspects, um, which, if you don't know your TV tropes, that's where, um, you don't realize that it was, like, horror until you're at your fridge later and you go, oh, gosh, that was actually terrifying. Um, fridge horror. There was a couple things like that. Uh, he had a whole thing where we were fighting sentient bottles of liquor and wine in the cellar. Um, and we thought that we had, you know, got all of the, the these animated objects um, done. He was like drawing like, you know, he's like, Psh, you kill, you killed, you killed this bottle of wine or whatever. And it splatters across the wall here. Um, and, and anyways, the, the. That culminated with we got all of the bottles of liquor and wine defeated. There was puddles all over the room, and then he tr he says to us all, jumping off of the wall like an Olympic torch, you see a sconce running towards the nearest puddle of liquor. What do you do? And it was like one of those moments where we all realized, oh, this interaction was not fighting the bottles of of alcohol. This was us setting up. So that the uh, that the wall sconce or the wall torch could hop into one of the pu puddles of alcohol and light us all ablaze. That was the actual uh, actual situation that was going on. It's just like, oh, brilliant! Also, oh no, what do we do? <laughs> I don't even remember what we did, but uh, but no, my one of my favorite things I did in that um, is I was playing a character um, who came in in the middle. My first character died. Um, and the, the others decided not to resurrect me. Thanks, guys. Um, it's fine. I, I was kind of overplaying that character a little bit anyway. So I came in, I was playing a ranger named Eamon. Um, his whole thing was that he was, like, very hedonistic. <laughs> they were, they were sentient bottles of alcohol that were, uh, that were attacking us. Uh... It would have been a little bit hard, I think, to drink those bottles when they're they're flying at you very uh, quickly. Um, but no, I came in. I came in as a, a character. His name is Eamon. He was a ranger. Um, he had a pet snake named Lucy, and he carried a pitcher of wine around with him everywhere he went, and was constantly drinking from this pitcher of wine. And whenever his pitcher of wine ran out, his snake would grab a different pitcher and. Uh, refill his pitcher of wine. Um, his pitcher of wine was not bottomless, but the snake's was. 
and uh, we were nearing the end of the game. Uh, you know, we were all kind of like, eh. You know, the, the setting was very cool. There was a lot of cool stuff that we explored, but uh, we didn't really have like a main goal or plot line or anything. So we all got a little bit bored, I think. Um, so we, we were nearing the end, we knew that. So my brother gave us, um, I think this was Pathfinder. So it wasn't, it was it was like a deck of many things. I don't think it's necessarily the, the D&D version, but it was a deck of many things. And I drew a card that gave me like a get out of jail free card, basically. I could wish myself out of any situation. It wouldn't wish anybody else out of the situation. The situation would still happen. So say, um, say we all got like grabbed and thrown into jail. I could say, I wish I wasn't thrown into jail and it would get me out of that situation, but everyone else would still be in jail. Um, that sort of thing. <laughs> um, I, so I drew that. So um, we we kind of wrapped things up. We went and got like a carriage. We were all going to leave. And I said, you know what? Why don't... <laughs> it was a get me out of here card. Yeah, it, it really was. All right, excellent. Those are all done. I think the copper's nice. Yeah. Excellent. Anyways, so things were wrapping up, and I was like, you know, I know where the lich is. Uh, do you want to go blow him up? And everyone's like, sure. I was like, all right, sweet. So I grabbed our, we had two bags of holding. Um, and if you throw like a, a portal, like a, multi, uh, what is it? I don't know what you call it. Some extra dimensional space inside of another extra dimensional, extra dimensional space. It, it, it implodes, basically. Um, so I grabbed our, our two bags of holding. And I wandered straight into where the lich was. And I walked into the room that he was in and I said, Hey boss, how's it going? Uh, because I had been working for the lich the whole time. <laughs> my, technically my goal was to try and lead adventurers to the lich, um, which I never really did. But I, I was chaotic neutral, so I was fine with blowing up my boss. I didn't care. So I threw the bag of holding inside the other bag of holding and then wished that I wasn't there. I blew up the lich. It was fun. But the looks of shock on all of their faces when I said, hey boss, was just, mmm, delicious, delicious. I loved it. Um, let's see, your dragon board had probably, mainly... Oh, uh, grappled an, uh, an iron giant or iron golem for five turns. Had to cut arrows and drag the boat at the same time. Um, alright, so we've got these done so far. These are all done. Not, not not these, but these three. Now we gotta figure out some D20s. Which one do we wanna do first? Let's do this one first. This one maybe I could do white because I could kind of see something really contrasting being nice on this one. And I think white would be nice and contrasty. What do you think? Like a flat white? Um, what else have we got? I mean, I could go like, I could go for the blue on this one. Silver could be an option. I think the cool tone would work well. Fey monk and a black dragon, I don't remember. Could do silver, could do silver. Silver would probably work well. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think we could go silver. I think we could go silver. Blue might be fun, but we can go silver. I'll finally I'll finally do the silver for you guys. Yeah, I think silver would be nice. Good good choice. Good choice, guys. <laughs> Turquoise seems like the color option now. Now that I now that uh tell you what, I will try let me try silver on one side and I will try the 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 uh turquoise on the other. We'll see which one we like better. Mm. 
Oh, I might have to go for the turquoise. I kind of like it, actually. Okay, let me... Okay, so we've got the, the silver versus the turquoise. I don't know, what do you guys think? Hmm. I kind of, so I usually do not do like colors that are completely different from what's in the dye. Like, I, I kind of like the turquoise though. It almost makes it feel spookier. Let's, let's go with the turquoise. Sorry, we're not doing silver. Maybe we can do silver one of the other ones. Uh, that one might be good with silver. Maybe silver for, um, actually on, on, on a, any of the other ones, maybe silver. Any of the other ones, silver might work good. good. I can see doing silver with any of these. Maybe not this one, it might blend in a bit. Maybe silver on this one. How about silver on this one? Cause it's got like that glitter in the black. I'll set that there. We might do silver for that one. Um, okay. Second craziest thing you've seen was a barbarian who decided on the um, bad guy's first encounter to just pick up a fruit stand and hurled it at him and got double net 20s. Wow. That's crazy. It's always, oh man, what do you do as a DM? <laughs> what do you do as a DM? This is why I started at the one end, by the way, on this die, is because I knew that it would be easier to get the paint out of the one than it would be to get it out of the uh, highest face. So if we changed our minds, we it would be easier to change. You're just an hour in. Oh man. There goes that campaign idea. I mean, that's part of the fun of D&D, &D, I suppose. It's just the, uh, the uncertainty of it, right? I mean, I say that, but like, I don't, I don't know. I don't care if things are railroaded a bit. I really don't mind. Skeleton wizard being catapulted and skewering three people with a sword and surviving on one HP. Was this your friend? Was this your friend that you catapulted? Your undead friend. I'm sensing, I'm connecting the dots. I've connected the dots. Yeah, I think I like the turquoise. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I don't do a lot of like contrasting uh, numbers often. And every once in a while I do and I'm like, yeah, that's nice. He wasn't undead at the beginning of the campaign? Oh gosh, how did that happen? Like, did the, the character die in some sort of, you know, fight and then got re resurrected strangely? Or was it on purpose? Like, did, did the did the player mean for the character to end up undead? Was this like a goal of the characters? Or was this more of a, oh, well, I guess I'm undead now sort of thing. You know, I like, this is, uh, I, I do want to hear that, but, um, well, people are responding to things. I was just, I was just thinking of it. My streams are very stream of consciousness. Uh, oh, what did you say? A friend of mine who got special permission to have a vengeance target boulder because it literally had three characters of Rogue get killed by a falling boulder. 
Wow. Why, why, why did the DM keep doing that to them? Why did the DM keep throwing boulders at them if this was a thing? Um, what I was going to say though is I, I, I like streaming on YouTube. Um, I was telling my, I was telling my brother earlier today, um, I, so I started, hello again for people that are new, I used to stream on Twitch, um, long before I ever did YouTube. Um, I probably did it for a year or two, probably before I actually started making YouTube videos. Yeah, probably, probably a year or two, right? Um, year and a half, maybe? Anyways, uh, I I think I like streaming on YouTube more, and part of that is just because I like watching streams on YouTube more. I've found, I I've found that I just do not enjoy watching streams on on Twitch. I'm not a big stream watcher in general, but uh, as far as streams go, I'd much rather watch it on YouTube than I would on Twitch. Oh, I had to roll to see what trap he set off. Oh. Uh, where was I going with this? I was gonna go going somewhere with this. Oh, anyways, I was thinking that about that, but I was also thinking about how, um, this is such a nice sized, like, group of people to stream to, because we can actually chat. I'm like, I hope I never get, like, so big that I can't actually chat with people in chat. Because that's, that's, like, the fun of streams, right? Par partially. Partially the fun of streams is getting to like interact with people and chat with them and see what you guys are up to. So it's like on the one hand it'd be nice to like grow my YouTube channel so that I could like make money off of it. Well I am actually making money off of it now. I'm making more money than I thought I would. I've made like five dollars. <laughs> I like I've made five dollars guys. I've made so much. But uh it's more than I thought I was going to make. Um, you know, it's like, on the one hand, it'd be nice to get ad revenue. On the other hand, I want to be able to chat with people. I don't want it to get so big that I can't chat with you guys. Hear about your D&D &D characters and random escapades. So you were technically rebels in the story versus empire kind of people. A ship was involved that had an empire ship held... Uh, Lower level with three guards and a call, and the ship crashed, caved after... Okay, I feel like that was part one. Oh, I'm glad you're having a good time, Miss Walker. Yeah, I, I don't watch a lot of streams, uh, usually. I'll watch, like, uh, replays of streams, I'll watch VODs. Um, I've been, like, watching way too many, like, Phasmophobia stream replays recently. Um, I think I, part of it is just because I like to be able to pause things. Like, I, I like to be able to pause things and, like, go do something else and then come back to it. And I don't, because I don't like missing things. Yeah, all right. I like the teal. I like the teal, guys. I think it's good. I honestly, I like the mix of, like, the, the non-shimmery purple with the shimmery... Actually, is the black shimmery? The black's maybe a little bit shimmery, too. Uh, but the non-shimmery black, no, maybe not. The non-shimmery black and the non-shimmery purple with, like, the shimmer of, like, the copper in there is kind of nice. Alright, I like the teal. I like the teal. Um, I'm thinking we can do silver for this one. I think this one would be good with silver. Let's try it. There's some black in there that's kind of, kind of shimmery. Um... I mean, I feel like part of the part of the fun of watching streams too is being able to like interact with people. Uh, let's see. Came after some pill pillars were broken. Made to escape on boat. Long story short, a bag from. Oh, uh, so demons had a thing to make their troops stronger. Uh, you stole it from the ship. Your wizard opened it and became an undead skeleton. Ah. Yeah, it's like, um, oh man, an undead, yeah, yeah. Now you have an undead wizard, though, I guess. Also pretty cool. Yeah, let's do silver on this one. I like the silver. 
I think that'll be cool. Um, that's true. I do. I, that is how I tend to think of these is as, um, like studio art classes. Mm, that's fair. That is something that I try to do with streams. Part of the reason that I don't shut up uh, when it comes to streams, usually I'm usually talking most of the time is because I know for me at least, I like to put on videos and things in the background while I'm working on other things. So I figure other people do that too and they're probably like listening more than they're actually watching. Um, so I want there to be something for people to listen to, even if it is just my blabbering. Um, but no, I tend to think of these kind of like as, as like studio art classes, which are, are really fun where you're like all kind of working on things in the same space. Um, it's not quite the same because I can't like snoop and see what you guys are working on quite as easily as I can in a studio art class. But, uh, but there's something fun about like that sort of environment where everyone's working on, on art in the same space. Uh, Dragonborn was a blue dragonborn with a chain whip. Level 5, he could toss a barrel and one shot an opponent. Oh gosh. Finally sending the mini dice. Uh-oh. Um, hmm. Sorry, my, uh, you guys probably heard the, uh, the bloop, 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 bloop. My computer's been doing a weird thing recently where like all of the USB connections just stop working right. And it makes it so that my Wi-Fi cuts out and things. So if I disappear, that's probably why. Um, and that, that, that bloop, 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 bloop is important of, uh, ill omen of uh, that starting to happen. <laughs> 10 millimeter, oh gosh, tiny. Tiny dice are one of those things where it's like, I kind of want to make them, but also I think I that would be a lot, that seems like it would be uh, a surprising amount of work. <laughs> also, I just got, um, I've just, oh, interesting. I wonder why I played through my uh my speakers or my headphones you'd think because i because i'm playing music on my computer and it's so I, you guys should get all of the sounds that my computer is getting you know what i mean so that's odd or maybe i'm just like so uh so in tune with that sound i notice it <laughs> and other people are just like, it's part of the music, right? Um, what was I saying? Wargaming days. Um, oh, what I was gonna say is I literally have just gotten, uh, things set up so I can do, uh, Vampire the Masquerade dice. I mean, I, I, I have it set up enough that I've already made, um, a set. But, um... That, that, it, oh gosh, it took so long to get those figured out. I don't want to have to deal with making more molds and getting masters and things for a while. Maybe someday I will do mini dice, but it'll be a bit. They're so cool though. Oh, this 14 is a little bit funky. I think these this mold needs retired. You can see the uh, 14 seems to be missing uh, some stuff on it up at the top. I think it's because of the mold. Could have been a poor sanding job, but I think it's the mold. Yeah, that's almost definitely the mold that's uh, missing some parts of the numbers now. So that needs retired if it hasn't been. This die reminds me of something and I'm not sure what it is. Oh, hello, sweetheart. Hello, fluffy girl. Oh, fluffy girl. Okay. Okay, that's a good spot. We'll see if she stays there. Lu this is That's Luna that just walked across the, uh, the screen. She likes to, uh, whenever I'm working on something, especially at my desk, whenever I'm at my desk here, she loves to walk back and forth in front of me, especially if I'm trying to focus on something uh, in front of me. 
Oh, I think she sees something outside. What's outside, baby? I have a win window in front of me. What's going on? What's she doing? What's she doing? She's right there now. <laughs> it is quite nebula nebula esque. I think, but the colors remind me of like. I don't know, like a 90s windbreaker or something. It, it it's it's reminding me of like a certain like time period or maybe like um like an arcade carpet. Maybe that's what it's reminding me of is like an arcade carper carpet. You know what I mean? It, like I do get the the nebula or galaxy that you guys are talking about, but there's something just like oddly specific that it's reminding me of. Yeah, 80s maybe. Yeah, 80s arcade carpet. Where are you going, baby? Careful. Careful. If my audio cuts out, I will blame her. Actually. Let's turn that down a little bit. I think the gain's a little bit high. Yeah, so maybe it's 80s I'm thinking. Maybe I'm thinking 80s decor. I can never get like my decades quite right there with the 80s and the 90s. And I mean, I lived through most of the 90s, but I wasn't very old. Ah, there we go. Oh, I think that's... But yeah, I think you're right, 80s. I like the silver on that. There you go, guys. We finally used the silver. Finally, use some silver. Got those. Um, we've got these two left. What should we do for these? What about the black and the orange. I could do for this one. I could do a layer of black. Oh yeah, arcades are fun. Been a while. Um, I could do a layer of black so that if you look through it, you just see the black, and then do a layer of orange so that the numbers appear to be orange. I worry that the gold is like just slightly too similar but too different from the orange in here. I don't know. I think I'm I'm going for kind of like a Halloween sort of look. I don't know if the gold would be quite right. Oh wait, guys, is this where we want to use our red? So this is where we want to use like our red gold. That might be kind of cool. Not sure on that. Um. <laughs> Honestly, I, the emerald green's not bad either. Mm, the emerald green's not as good. Yeah, black base so that when you look through the die you just see the black and then maybe the the red. Let's do a black base one way or another um, on this one. Um, I'm gonna paint this real quick, I think. This D6 is just gonna be have gold. Actually no, we'll do we'll do the black base, uh, and then I will come do the uh, gold and then we'll come back to that. That seems like a good plan. Yeah, alright, well so we'll do the Oh, here, let me... Apparently I have not opened the red. I'm gonna just dab a little bit onto one of the sides here. I'm not gonna put it in the numbers. I'm just gonna... Put a little dot here and see how it feels. Cause it might be a little bit... It's a little bit too raspberry. Is it a little bit too raspberry? I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that's gonna be pretty? Is it gonna be weird with the orange and the black? It might it might dry a little bit darker. Yeah. 
Let's do the black. Let's do the black either way. Don't do that. Don't put paint bottles in your mouth. Do, do as I say, not as I do. Alright, cool and spooky is what I'm going for, so we'll, we'll maybe we'll go with that. But, layer of black first. Mm. Maybe bright yellow? Hmm. I don't know, again, I feel like the, like a yellow or gold might be a little bit, I don't know. I don't know. Let's try the red. We're gonna try the red. Um, it's got that little bit of gold pop in there. It'd be kind of funny if I did this and then decided that I just liked the black too. But I think that we're not gonna be able to see the, uh, the black very well. I'm just starting to, uh, focus in. For, for folks that might have just joined and aren't sure what's going on here and why I'm painting these black, even though I said I'm not going to do the dice black, uh, we're doing a layer of black so that when you look through the die, you don't see the color of the numbers. You just see the black, uh, which there is already black in there, so it shouldn't stand out too much. Dried blood. Um, Are you saying that in favor of the red or a different red color? Cause like I, dried blood color is honestly like a brown. It'd be like kind of a flat brown, reddish brown, probably. But I worry that if I go too dark, like with the black that I have here, it's gonna be hard to read. I do think bright yellow would be easy to read, but I think that it wouldn't fit the uh, the Halloween vibes that I'm going for. That's what I was trying to say earlier, uh, nimble art. I should have played like some Halloween spooky music since we're doing all of the uh, the dice for October. I don't have, uh, I feel like a little bit bad because I don't have uh, as many dice uh, to put in the shop, but I'm, I don't know, I'm focused on uh, getting the dice for like the advent calendars done as well as commissions. I am so booked on commissions. Hello, Luna, what you doing? You better not be walking back and forth. You know how I feel about that, Luna. Luna. You need to pick a side or come sit on my lap. Come sit on my lap. Come on. Luna. <laughs> come on. Down you go. Come lay down. Come lay down. Come lay down. Kitty. Here, here I will. There, now you can see the kitty. Now you can see the kitty. Yes, hello, sweetheart. Hello, I need my hand though. It's hard to uh, hard to paint this with one hand. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead and settle down. <laughs> I know, I know. I've stopped petting you. I know. How dare? How dare I? Okay. Yeah, I see that tail going. Gosh. Did I just get paint on the oh gosh. Hi guys, just like it. I just I just like straight up got paint on the on the webcam. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the boss has arrived. Well she she sure seems to think so. She sure seems to think so. Uh where was I? She'd bite you by now? Oh gosh, you better not. You better not bite me. 
the only cat that really like bites me is uh, not and I'm not quite sure why every once in a while she just like tries to bite my face Luna will nibble on my nose, but not in like a bitey bitey way, but in a I'm grooming you sort of way. She likes to give me kisses. Yes, hello, sweetheart. What are you doing, Luna? <laughs> I have some pretty happy cats. They're all pretty happy cats. Let me angle this up a little bit. I think I've got almost all of them done. It's kind of hard to see what numbers I haven't done. Uh, <laughs> Cause it's, I don't know, it's hard to see the black and where there's not black. Aww, that's cute. Sister, sister's cat will, will fist bump your brother with her head before she eats as a trick. Do you do any tricks? Oh, Luna likes playing fetch. I guess that's something that, that's kind of a trick I suppose that she does. She does, she absolutely adores playing fetch. That's one of her favorites. Um, I think I got, I think all, yeah, that should be all of them. I will, except for this side. That side's not as important because it's already got stuff behind it. Yeah, she does like, she does like fetch. She's got um, like these little like fluff balls that have like rattles on the inside. Uh, those are her favorite. Um, and she will bring them in here and ask me to toss them out the door for her. Video stop for you? I can still, I'm still seeing your messages. Anyone else having problems? Is it working for everybody else? Your dogs love laying like that when you're doing stuff at the coffee table too. You really get stuff done when they do those. You live with <laughs> 90 pound masters. Oh man. That would make it a little bit more difficult. Oh, okay. Hmm. I forgot that that paint was wet. I just started peeling it off because I was like, ooh, paint to peel off. Um, and now I've got gold paint on my fingers. Ugh. Hmm. There we go. If uh, if Cobra can't uh, isn't isn't seeing or hearing anything, I'll type that in. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh god! Oh gosh! This is why I got a new thing of gold. There's still a fair amount in here, but there we go. I'm just gonna do this D6 real quick for my collection of bonus D6s. I should look and see what all I've got in my collection of bonus D6s. Oh, weird. Weird. I don't know what's going on there. You had me worried for a second, though. You had me worried for a second just because I'm just like, I was talking earlier about how my computer's been doing weird things. But at the same time, I got your message, which made me think it wasn't on my end. <laughs> Since uh, if my Wi-Fi was having issues, I would not, probably not have gotten your message. Huh. 
Adano. I would say uh, blame YouTube, but uh, they've just recently decided to give me money, so I'm going to not uh, tell you guys to blame YouTube. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Got a d6. Alright. That's still drying, I think. So let's let the black dry and we can start thinking about this one. I don't know what color I want to do for this one. This is a liquid core and it's got... I mean, it's got kind of like pink stuff going on in there. Pinks and like green almost. Mmm. Yeah, I was, um, I was saying earlier today that the next piece of maybe somewhat expensive equipment I get might be a, a computer for streaming in my streaming space. Uh, cause it keeps, it's got some problems. Pink or silver, we could maybe, the silver might work again. Um, light purple, that might work. Like a pale, pale purple. I'm gonna do the light pink here. Oh God, um, hmm. It might be a little difficult to get paint. Oh dear, um, hmm. <laughs> um, we might be a little bit stuck. I kind of have a cat. <laughs> I'm kind of COL at the moment. Mmm, 2009. Yeah, it's been a while. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Well, we'll give that a second. Oh, I'm I, paralyzed, yes. Yes. Yes, I am paralyzed. I like that. Oh no, how many of these are you gonna have? Are you paralyzed? Catatonic? She's so soft. She's so soft and fluffy. Well, here, let me... There you go. Kitty the kitty cat. Aww. You're forgetting the other one. Hello. There you go. Oh, I do have audio here. Yes, kitty break. Since I can't reach my paint. <laughs> oh, kitty break. She's a happy girl. She's a fluffy girl. Yes, hey, looks we are. All right, all right. Um, let's see, what do we want to do next? Maybe we could do these with something I have here. I don't know that I want to do gold. There's already a lot going on in there. <sighs> this could be white. I feel like these could just be flat white, right? Let's just do those a flat white. Well, while we, we wait to be able to reach purple paint. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I stopped giving you scritches. <laughs> I mean, 
I, I need someone that to go against me on on always saying gold. I I always say gold too. Cat cat is judging work. I think cat is judging lack of scratches. I think that the gold would blend in with the other gold on here though if I did gold this time. Um, I'm I'm doing the white on this. I this one I want the numbers to stand out because I want it to be obvious that they're dice because I'm gonna turn these into earrings. So like even if it looks maybe not tacky necessarily, but it looks very uh, exaggerated. The the white does. I'm okay with that. There we go. There we go. Now we got those. I can turn those into earrings now. I've been meaning to do that for a while. saying maybe like a light pinkish purple for this one there's like green in there too like a lime there's like a lime color in there okay is this one dried not completely I, mm, no it needs to be more pink than that I think I think that's What about like an orange? It might sound weird, but like, what about like an orange? Or just a shimmery white? Orange might be weird, wouldn't it? Orange would probably be weird. Red? I think I think it's so pinkish purple in there that red might be a little bit odd. I think we want to go for like a pinkish purple. Um, and I have, I have a. Uh, let's see what I got. Hello, hello, kitty cat. Got like a pink. Oh, the turquoise might be pretty actually. Ooh, the turquoise might be pretty. Turqu turquoise might be pretty. Because there's that green in there. It might bring out the green a little bit. Um, but yeah, pearly white, maybe. Maybe just pearly white on all of it. Although, so here's my, my thought with the pearly white. I worry that it's going to make this look kind of muddy because I feel like the colors in here I used a multi-chrome flake that's kind of dark so it already feels a little bit muddy because you see all the dark kind of bits to it. Um, I don't know, I, I, I wonder if doing a pearly white will make it feel a little bit more kind of like there's dark flecks in there and I don't know if I want that or not. Hmm. I think I'm finally starting to hit that wall like I mentioned earlier. I'm starting to get tired. So we'll, we'll finish up these last two D20s, I think. And then call it. We've got this one still that we're going to try the red on. Should we just try something on this one and see how it looks? Let's try a pearly white. Let's just see. Oh, wow, gosh, why is all this paint coming out? Let's just, we'll try a pearly white, see if we like it. That's not filled in all the way. That actually stands out a lot more than I thought it would. 
The pearly white's usually a little bit more translucent and doesn't stick out as much. That's not bad though, I don't know. You try turquoise. You know, if we did the turquoise, I think I'd want to do the thing again where I uh, uh, do one color and then and then put it over there. Do a layer of, of something kind of neutral. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's one of those ones where it's like, I don't mind it. I don't know if there's something better, though. Yeah, turquoise looks. Put in the two. No, I don't think the turquoise. I don't think the turquoise. Well, actually, I don't mind it. I feel like I'm seeing some darker purples in there now, too. Maybe this is where we use the, uh, this purple? No, this purple was too purple. We needed a, like a pink. Silver. We can try the silver. Mm, I think the silver actually blends in too much, I think. Someone said red, we could try the red. The red might actually work, I don't know. What do you mean, like turquoise on the inside and purple on the outside? What about purple? Uh. about emerald green not silver I'll get rid of that I mean to be fair I can always leave this die for another day too I don't have to figure it out necessarily today should I try the emerald let's try the emerald in the floor here Another paint that I got recently and have not opened it. Just a second. Such a pretty. It was just such a pretty green color, though. I I literally went to the craft store to get gold paint, and that was it. And then uh, came home with this one and this one, <laughs> and I think there was another one too. Oh, uh, no, that was it. I think that was it. I think, were, I think these were the only ones I came home with. Ooh, it's such a pretty green. Uh, it's so dangerous going to craft stores. Oh, the green, the green. I mean, so the green is you know opposite, opposite on the colors wheel from pink. Is it the right green though? I was thinking more of like a lot, like a lime, because there's like a little bit of lime in there. True, true. Story of my life. Do I have like a lime green? Wait, actually I might have a green that I can reach. I have two layers of, of paint here and I can reach the top layer. I can't reach the bottom layer. What about a, like a lime green? Your tail. I don't want to get your tail all funky. Okay. I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna try this one. Maybe. Oh gosh, a second. 
Ow. Ow. <laughs> I needed the microphone thing. This, uh, this paint has separated a bit. I'm trying to get it to mix. Okay, let's try this though. That is, wow, that is, uh, separated. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. I've literally taken the lid off. I'm stealing some green paint this way. Okay, but what if like lime green though? What if lime green though? Maybe let me get the uh, stuff up behind it. It might, it's probably kind of hard to see, but there's a little bit of like veto. <laughs> there's a little bit of lime green in here. That's in about that same shade. <laughs> I'd like to use my one veto, please. I mean, we could just go white too. Could go flat white. Oh, wait. We can reach purple. We can reach purple. <laughs> Make each number different color. All right, these are the ones I was trying to reach for. I have a shimmery white. I have a, a color shift that's white and it shimmers pink. And I have a pink that shimmers blue. One of these. True, I do think that the lime green gives it a Halloween feel. That I do think that, but also, I don't know. I don't know if I need that on, on here. You know what I mean? Next page. Uh, the color shift white has become your favorite. Pink. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe the pink. I will get rid of the vetoed lime green. Um, yeah, I do think that I like the lime green for like a Halloween vibe, but with this dye in particular, I think I'd rather it look classy than Halloween-like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, it's just such an, an interesting liquid core. So let me, let me clear these out. Well, it's still easy. Let me scoot over a little bit so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Use the color shift uh, white for the sunset galaxy disc sixes and d20s. Oh, I can see that being really nice for like a galaxy set. Emerald greens out. This this emerald green is very sparkly. I'm just clearing out all this paint and then we'll we'll try the pink uh, I think the sh the w pink to blue shimmer uh, color shift maybe the the white to pink see which one of those we like I think one of those might be good yeah that color that pink seems to match more you know What are you using to clean out the paint from the numbers? Just water. Um, I uh, 
I just put the color into the numbers so it was still liquid enough, the paint was, that I can use some water to to kind of uh, dilute it and get it out of there. If it was, um, if the paint had dried, it'd be a little bit more difficult to get it out of there. But that's why I'm taking it out now before we put in, put in more colors to try. Um, all right, let's try the pink. I've got cat hair in my brush somehow. Um, let's see here. Let's try this one. It almost comes out more blue. Because there's not as much pink there. Okay, let's try the uh, the the color shift white. I don't know why I find that so satisfying, but I do. It's not just me. I, uh, I, I don't know why I enjoy that so much, but I do. Oh, this one's not bad. Yeah, maybe one of these. Maybe one of these. We've got our um, pink, pink to blue and our white to pink. A little bit hard to see on the camera maybe, but those are the colors that we've got going on. Let me, let me, let me zoom in a little bit and maybe I can... No, not zoom, sorry, focus. What, baby? So we've got our white to pink and our pink to blue. Let me shake it up. So you can look at it with the... Uh, you know, the, the... Yes, hello again. <laughs> hello again. Kitty cat, kitty cat, what are you doing? What you doing? What you doing? You know, you cannot walk back and forth in front of me. You gotta pick a side or come lay down on my lap. Yeah, you know, let's do the white. Let's do the white, I think. Luna, you need to pick a side. You need to pick a side. Yeah, okay, yeah, you lay down over there. That is a good girl. All right, let's go white. Let's go the white. I, I, I just needed like, one other person I think to say white. I think that's the direction I was leaning to. So we'll go with that. I think it contrasts better. It's easier to see. But it still has some of that like pink color in it. Luna, that is not picking a side. That is not picking a side. You need to pick a side. You can't walk back and forth. Okay. All right. Let's do our, our color shift. Um, wait, you're biased though. <laughs> you're biased towards the color shift white. That's fine. You could be biased towards the color shift white. I think that's what I'm leaning towards now too. For this set, at the very least. Oh, I need to fix that. Focus again. Oh no. Oh no, you're focusing on nothing. There we go. I sure hope that the red works on the other D20. 
just so I don't have to try and repaint things uh, black. <laughs> Um, let's see, am I, uh, we should start figuring out what we want to do, uh, for next week's stream. Let me see if I have anything written down. Make sure I'm in town and everything. October 1st. Hmm. Nope, I don't have anything planned yet. What do we do for next week's stream? What would you guys like to see? Is there anything, is there anything in, like, particular in the process that you guys would want to, uh, want to see? Should we do, like... Do you guys prefer when we're like pouring resin or, I don't know. Do you want to do like the like chill inking and sanding streams where we kind of just sit around and, and chat like this one? I mean, to be fair, all of my streams, we pretty much just sit around and chat. Let's, let's be real here. Like, let's not, uh, but also, I mean, is there anything else you guys would like to see? I could always play like a, a video game probably wouldn't be on this channel, which I guess makes it harder to find, but um, I don't know, I don't want to mix up too many things. Sometimes you just got to decide on everything before the pour. A friend of yours wants to make more of the yellow-green dice, but inked red. Yeah, that'd be cool. Resin pour. We could definitely, definitely pour some resin. I don't have any more uh, dice to ink. Well, actually, that's not necessarily true, but I think it's just commissions. Um, I don't, so. <laughs> I'll probably be wanting to film those. So that gets, it's just a little bit annoying to film that and stream it. Makes it so that, cause I, like I prioritize, you know, the, me filming it and then, you know, it gets in your guys' way and I'd rather just, uh, work on stuff with you guys that I don't have to film just so I don't have to try and juggle it at the same time. Um, but yeah, maybe we could pour some resin. I feel like I do have some, some things that I need to get poured at some point. I have a, uh, I do have a commission that I need to work on at some point. Um, although I might do that at some point this week. Oh, I need to do the second half of, um, August's Patreon D20s. Because I haven't finished those. Uh, Luna! You better pick a side, baby. That's what she's doing. I see you. I see you. I see you. No. No. Uh. <laughs> so tired of polishing the mini dice. Uh, that is definitely my. So not mini dice specifically, but that's definitely my my bottleneck. Ne bottleneck when it comes to getting things done is the uh, is the uh, sanding. <sighs> So maybe a sa uh, actually, how many sets of dice do I have over there that needs sanded? So maybe we could do a sanding stream. Give me a give me a reason to get some random sets uh, sanded. Oh, have a good sleep. Have a good sleep. Thanks for stopping by. Should be back same time, same place next week. Oh, good. I'm glad it's not as hard as you thought. I know there's a little bit of, uh... Goes to a craft? I, I'm, I don't quite understand what your, what your message means, uh, Ethan. Goes to a craft what?
Um, but yeah, maybe we'll do... Oh, show. Okay. I was like, I think there's just a, a word missing, but I'm not sure what word is missing. <laughs> so why are you sending... Uh, is she... Is your mom selling things at a craft show? Or, or just like going to find things that other people have made. I'm, I'm just curious uh, what she's going to do with the, the dice that you send. Alright, cool. That one's all done. I think this one's going to be um, kind of a little bit more like interesting. Like you'll see the sh the the shimmer. Oh, she bends. Oh, okay, cool. Where's the... Yeah, okay, cool. That one's all done. Uh, last one. Last one's this D20, and we were going to try this red, I think. I don't know. Oh man, I'm 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 nervous. I'm nervous for this red. I don't know if it's gonna work well or not. I don't know how it's gonna look. Mm. Let's let's try some. We'll try uh, we'll try one of the one of the numbers and then see how how it's feeling. We're committing. Okay, how are you feeling about the the red? Is it too like similar to the orange without being like is it What do we think? What do we think? What do we think of the uh You like it? It's like I'm going to pick it up and look at it for a minute. I guess the uh, the kind of like gold in the red kind of ties it into the orange instead of making it feel like it's just like too diff like close but far. You know? All right, we'll continue on with it. We'll continue on with it. Still not. I, I still don't know if I'm a hundred percent sold on it. Why is there blue glitter in there? Got something in here. There we go. Oh, good, I got it out. Okay. Oh, let me move this so you guys can. Once again, I have so much. I've just like been stacking up paint over here to the point where I. <laughs> It's just, uh, I, it's in my way. Let's start right on this side. All right, so I will, I will try to, um, you know, post the, the stream on probably Friday. I posted it a little bit late this week. I ended up, you know, scheduling it yesterday. Um, but I'll try to do that on, like, Thursday or Friday, probably. So I'll figure out what we're doing. Maybe pouring resin. Maybe sanding dice. Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet what I need to get done. I need to look, I'll, I'll look at my calendar and see what I need to get done. And then we can... I'll decide from there. But we'll do something probably uh, dice and, and or resin related. One way or another. One of these days I might do a, another like game stream though. Because I did get a game that I think would be fun to play on stream. But that won't wouldn't be on this channel. Maybe we'll do that like a different day of the week. Or something if I get some time. That's the, that's the real thing right? It's just getting some time. I have things pretty much every evening. 
which is how I've ended up uh, streaming on, on Sundays. I used to, so, again, if you're new here, um, I used to stream twice a week when I was over on Twitch. Mm -hmm. I would stream Wednesday nights and Saturday mornings. Um, but that was before I got the part-time job that I have now. Uh, that makes things a little bit more, uh, complicated. I don't have quite as much time. Uh, and I don't have as flexible of time. Still don't know how I feel about the red. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about the red. I don't hate it. But I don't know if there was something else that I would have liked better. Like just maybe just orange. Might have been down for like just orange. But it might look a little bit different once it dries too. It might be like a little bit darker and I might like it a little bit better then. I don't know. I'm just not like 100% on it. I guess if all else fails, I will just paint another layer of paint over this. <laughs> Instead of trying to clean it out, I'll just do like orange over top or something. Probably be easiest. Yeah, that's, yeah. Let me grab the orange. <laughs> Like an orange orange and then it would also tie in with the orange that's in there let me let me finish putting the red down and we'll put the orange over the top of the red uh, if there's a little bit of red that pokes through it'll be fine but then at least everything will be the same but we're I'm almost I'm almost done with the red so at this point I might as well uh... <laughs> yeah it's not, this isn't terrible to read, I don't think, but yeah, it's, it's kind of like one of those weird, like, tones that's in between dark and light, so like, it kind of blends in with a lot. There's just some colors, I think, that are, are like that. But yeah, it is such a pretty color. Oh, I was talking earlier uh, in the stream about music um, for like, well, streams and videos and stuff. I uh, I was thinking of like getting one of those like, you know, the, the like epidemic sound or something where you kind of like have like a monthly fee that you pay for uh, like the rights to the music that's in their catalog. <laughs> Commenting on your phone, eh, whatever works. Um, I was originally kind of telling myself that um, once I started making like enough to cover it, I might do it. Oh, let me, let me zoom this in a little bit more. Not zoom, focus. I don't know. How do I feel about the red? Now that I'm seeing it on camera, I don't know if I mind it. What do people think? Do we like the red? Would we prefer like a flat orange? Is it pretty? It's kind of grown on me a little bit. Now that I have the whole dye done, I, I feel like it's grown on me. I'm just trying to put paint back in the uh, bottle so I don't waste it. You like the red? Yeah, it kind of grew on me. I think I like the red now. I think I'm okay with it. This is like the some of the paintings I've done where I've absolutely been like, ugh, I don't know if I like this all up until like the last stroke of paint. And then I'm like, oh, actually it's pretty good. 
Actually, I do not mind. All right, sweet. I think we've got everything uh, inked then. Uh, just to rehash what we have done this stream, we went and started off with some fate dice. Inked those in a lovely gold to match the little bit of gold that was in there. And the shimmery brown. And then we went and moved on to uh, these dice from a previous video. A little bit of a dice challenge. We debated for a while between white and gold and other colors. And finally I decided I liked the gold the best. So I went for that. Uh, and I think it worked out pretty good. I think we ended up classy. And then let's see. We moved on to this set. Oops. This is another set where we debated for a while. We're thinking purple, we're thinking blue, we're thinking green. Finally decided on a copper because it stood out nice. I, I quite like the copper on this. I feel like with the, it's kind of like all of the, whoa. Newsroom news. <laughs> Sorry, that's what this song is called apparently is newsroom news. All right, we'll listen to it. Why not? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna save that because that might be useful for something. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like all the secondary colors could get like that purple and that green and kind of an orange in there. So I, I think it worked out well like that. Uh, we had a couple of D20s. We didn't ink these on stream today. I already had these inked, but I'll show them off anyways. And then we went and did this one with our shimmery teal. And this with our silver, which looks like 80s decor, we've decided. Uh, and then we have our, our liquid core here. We did with a sh white that shimmers pink, our color shift white. A couple of, of miscellaneous things. And then finally, what we just did, our black and orange one with some red shimmer to gold numbers and I'm glad that we did the uh, the layer because I like if you look through the die it doesn't you don't see the red on the other side that's why we did the black first like it just blends in it doesn't look like there's you don't see the numbers on the other side at all you just have the black that blends in yeah so that's uh that's that was that was it that was what I wanted to get done let me uh Focus us back in here. Oh my gosh, so hard to. There we go. Um, ah! But yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. I think that's gonna be do it for today. Um, like I said, I should be back next week, same time, same place. Not one hundred percent sure where I'm gonna stream yet, but it's probably gonna be dice related. Um. Hopefully, hopefully I will will see you guys then. But yeah, have a, have a good rest of your week. Uh, what did I roll? Oh gosh, I've ro uh, rolled all sorts of different numbers apparently. But yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you next week. Uh, ha ha have a good one.